Good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren from ITT Willis in North Wales Bangor. I'm the CSA at the site here. So today we're just going to give you a tour of our site to give you an idea of what it's like to live with us. And one of the days of the year, it's absolutely glorious and full of sunshine. So we will be a little bit hot and warm. So if we are a bit sluggish, just bear with us. So today we've got Ian, our housekeeper of Ian, wants to say hello. Ni hao. And um, the last time we did do one of these live viewings, there was a lot of people that um, came on later on the call. So we will take it a little bit slower and we'll wait for some of you to join us. So while we wait, if anyone does have any question, you can ask me now or you can wait and ask me during the viewing. So I'll just tell you a little bit about IQT Willis. So we're right on Bangor High Street, as you can see. Do you want to show them in? We have six different supermarkets nearby within a 10 minute walk. The university is also just a 10 minute walk away. And then just by us as well, 100 yards away is our local train station. So whenever you do arrive in September, you only have to come around the corner to check in. So we are going to just stand in from the sunshine as I can't really see. <laughs> and if you want to just join us into the reception and then we'll give you a little bit more of a view. Oh, that's better. Oh. So this is our main reception area. Sorry about the background noise. So the reception is open 24 seven, but the main office staff are here from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. And then you've got your security staff, which are here from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. And they are all trained in general inquiries and as well as partials and other things like maintenance too. So if there's anything that you do need, they will, will help you as best as they can. But if there's anything to do with your booking, that will have to be dealt with me or one of the other office staff. We actually do have our operations manager here as well, Andrew, if he wants to give us a little wave. All right. Um, so anything you need, we'll be here in the office or we can also answer the security phone as well. We're out and about site, especially during the summer months, as that's our busiest time to get the rooms ready for you in September. So this is where your partials come as well. So if you have a look, it is pretty empty at the moment. We've just had a check out, but any parcels or letters you get come to the office first. You will receive an email and then you come back and get the parcel given to you scanned out. As well as that, we do have our events board here, which is, will be filled with events for September and then throughout the year. We're having a little bit of a break now to get prepared for September, but if there's any events that you'd like us to put on, especially for Chinese New Year, just let us know and we'll get that organized. Does anyone have any other questions about this reception area while we wait for more people to join us? Is everyone having a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so sure. we'll just go now into the common room area so this is where you guys can hang out with your friends but also we use the common room area for events and things like that as well it's right next to the reception area but we do also have another communal space which is a study room which is across in our other site so that's over an enf block but we will take you to there just at the very end of the tour so if you just want to follow me and we'll go through Yeah. Come on ahead. So this is the common room space. So as you can see, you've got a pool table, you've got your table tennis top, you've got some books at the side here, and then you've got all your games and things like that, and then also there's a TV for playing music on as well. Okay. So just in here, we'll switch on the lights. We've got the main cinema room area. So you've got your PlayStation 5 and then your 75 inch TV. For any of those nights where you want to have a movie night, you want to play games with your friends, or you just want to come and chill out in the common space, you can use this area as well. So does anyone have any questions about this space at all? No, we're all good. No problem at all. So if you do want me to slow down, just let me know. But if there's anything that you have missed, don't worry. You can go back and watch the video afterwards, but you can also get in touch with your agent and they can ask us any of the questions that you might have. Okay.
Everyone happy enough? No problem. So just to let you know, guys, we do donate a lot of items to charity. So as we go through this door, there's quite a bit of charity stuff. So don't think we're very messy. It's just a lot of items are getting ready to be collected, okay? So come on ahead. So just ignore all of this and we'll come through this way. Oh boy. So as you can see, this is our ENF box. Sorry about the noise. And just straight down, we've got the main high street, so that's where your shops and things are. If you need anything from the pharmacy, the post office, any cafes, restaurants. Had a barbecue actually recently that's why you've got some of the we will be going into the block but the laundrette is just here so if you do want to come and see the laundrette with us we'll show you what it's like part here and then the money gets deducted off your phone 340 and 380 depending on which type of wash that you use so Ian's just going to do a quick demonstration and I will take the phone for him so as you can see it brings up the uh, machine that you're going to be using and he's going to put it onto a wash obviously you would put in your um, detergent and things like that and then your machine will start. Ta-da! <laughs> so if anyone does have any questions about this part, I will be able to help you out as much as I can. But again, it is all run by a third party contractor. So if you do need anything, you can contact them via um, ask, or sorry, circuit laundry, phone, text, or you can do a quick online form. But we will be here to help you out as much as possible. Anyone have any questions about this area of the building? Everyone happy enough? The host says hi. Oh, hello. Sunshine, how? Yeah. So we're just going to go back out to the sunshine. So the students have actually been very kind and have been helping some seagulls. There's a few baby seagulls that keep falling off the roof. So you can see little bowls of water everywhere yes. for them as well. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. it is, yeah. <laughs> so they've been feeding it and also giving it water. <laughs> so as I was saying, we do have a lift in each of the blocks. So we will just take the stairs up today as it is just the first um, floor up. But if you do have any questions regarding that, just let us know in terms of um, accessible rooms or in terms of when you're checking in, you won't have to take all your luggage up the stairs. There will be lifts available and also trolleys on hand as well. So if anyone does have any questions, just refer them to your agent and she can get in touch with us, okay? If you want to just follow Ian up the stairs. Yeah. So 
then finish off in the kitchen. But if you do have any questions or want me to slow down, just let me know, okay? And Ian's going to show you um, information about the room as well. So he's going to select the type of room, which is bronze on suite plus. So this is your bronze on suite plus. It is 13 meters squared. I'll let you into a little secret. This room is actually a copper bronze on suite plus and a bronze on suite due to the fact that it's the same size of room, the same storage, same bed, but the only thing that is different is your view out of the room. So because we're looking out into um, houses, but you still get to see the garden, it is classed as a bronze en suite. But if you were to go to a bronze en suite plus room, you would have a higher floor room, but also you would have some views across Bangor. So some of those rooms do have lovely views across to the Menai Strait, if any of you like some sea views. But then your copper rooms are rooms that look out into houses or in car parks. So therefore, if you don't really mind about your view and you want a cheaper room, I would go for the copper because you're getting the same type of room, same size, everything like storage is the same. So then you're saving that bit of money, but you're not getting a good view basically. So if that's something that you're interested in, choose, please get in touch with your agent and they can refer you to the right room. All right. Anyone have any questions? We'll all we'll have a closer look at different types of areas of the room. Your um, heating, your electric and your internet is all included. The only thing you do have to pay for is your laundrette, which we have just shown you. But if you do have any questions about either of those, just let us know. Okay, so you've got plenty of storage. You've got storage just at the side here. Some shelves for your books. You've got large wide drawers just below. So you've got three of those. You've got plenty of sockets at either side of your desk area. So you've got some more sockets here. Then you've also got your own desk chair and then your um, desk area is also fitted by the length of the room by the window. So your bed is a small double. And you, as Ian's going to show you, you do have some storage below as well. But the bed also lifts up. And then my favourite feature is you can turn off the lights and charge your phone and your other items while you're in bed as well. You've got plenty of items here too to put any uh, pictures, posters, um, any frames or things like that. You can put them on your pin board, okay? And then as he is going to show you, you've got your full size wardrobe. So you've got plenty of storage shelving, and then you've got your hanging reel as well. Okay. And then just here, we've got more hanging hooks. <laughs> and we've also got then your ensuite bathroom. So all rooms are ensuite. So that's how the shower works. And then it's an electric shower with glass doors. Does anyone have any questions about this area? Everyone happy enough? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Well, if you do have any more questions, just let your booking agent know and they can refer the questions on to us, okay? We'll just go now and see the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Come on, head in. So this is your typical five bedroom kitchen. So plenty of space. So these double doors, you mm. these are included in all of the flats. So if this is something that you would like, please get in touch with your booking agent and they can get in touch with us. And basically then they can let us know which rooms that you'd like and we can basically recommend which rooms we've got left with these double doors. Because days like this, It'd be very handy to have, but I'm just going to let you know, we don't always get weather like this. Normally it's very cold, wet and windy. So we're taking advantage of all this nice sunshine. Okay. 
So you've got your cooker hob with your four ring hob. You've got your oven below. You've also got your microwave just here. So this is an oven and a grill as well. And then you've got your cupboard spaces, which are all designed for five people. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you um, move in, what we recommend is have the cupboard above, the drawer below, and the cupboard below. So it means everyone has the same amount of space and it's all organised as well. So if that is something that you want to um, look into or if you want more space, just let us know because we do have studio rooms available. So that's more a uh, confined space for you and you can share with one other person for no extra price from silver rooms and up. So we do only have a select few studios that are available at the moment. So if you do have any questions, please just let us know and let your booking agent know and they'll refer it to us as well. Um, if you were going to book a six bedroom flat, I will mention you do get an extra fridge freezer. So it already has five shelves, but you will get an extra one just for that sixth person. So that means you'll get extra space. So if you are looking and there's six bedroom flats available, bear in mind you will get an extra cooker hob, an extra sink and an extra fridge freezer. Okay. Anyone have any questions? No? No problem at all. What I will do is bring some drinks back for the people in the office because it is very hot. So if you just want to follow Ian, he'll go out and we'll show you the rest of the building. want to follow us any questions at all just ask and then we'll pick them up once we're over in a quieter space okay Yeah, do you want to show them the door? Okay, do you want Yeah. And the train station is just above here. In study room area, it is for you guys to use. So it is very quiet at the moment, but when um, we were back in the exam months, this place was very, very busy with loads of students practicing for their exams, but also just coming out here to chill and also use the area as um, a place to come and chill out with a friend, which is much quieter than the common room. You've got a bathroom and also a kitchen place just to make tea and coffee. So if you do need anything at all, just let us know and we can also add it in for you.
Okay, so does anyone have any final questions while we're here? And um, I can answer them now that we've slowed down. Mm -hmm. okay. No, everyone happy enough? Well, we will be seeing you again in August for another live viewing. So anyone that does want to come and view the site again, or if you want to have a look at our other videos, you can do that as well. But um, it was lovely meeting you all. And me and Ian just want to say thanks for joining us. And we hope to see you in September and have a great summer. Bye, Jen. Bye.